Hi, this is Scott Jordan. I'm the CEO of a company called Scotty Vest. Um, I wanted to, to weigh in on the ongoing controversy regarding Apple's uh, new iPhone 4, 4.0. Um, I, I'm previously a, a pretty big Apple fan. I own the iPad and the 3GS and before that the iPhone. have uh, a MacBook Pro and uh, a Mac Tower and in fact Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, sits on the board of advisors for our company, Scotty Vest. And uh, with that in mind, I was very excited to get the new 4.0 uh, phone. Um, I thought it was cool, not life-changing by any means, but um, uh, being a gadget guy, I had to have the newest and, 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 and best things. I, I just assumed that it would be better than the 3GS. I mean, why would I pay a premium to have it and have it soon if it wasn't going to be better? Um, much to my disappointment, uh, and, and I know that there were lots of issues on touching the left-hand corner that, that Apple sort of blamed on users and said, just avoid that and you'll be fine. And I thought that was the only issue. Um, however, um, what I've discovered is that using this phone, the 4.0, in my home or in my office in the exact same locations where I was using my 3GS without any issues whatsoever, I have lost calls, I have dropped connections, I've seen, looked at it and watched the, batter, uh, the, uh, the signal indicator go from full strength to, to one without me doing anything. I'm holding the phone like this. Um, really, really frustrating. Um, I have uh, went through a full system restore uh, as instructed. I uh, took my uh, SIM card out. I reset network settings. I've ordered a $50 bumper case, um, which is coming tomorrow, and I'm going to, to, to try it, uh, although I can't understand how a bumper case could impact it because it's not the way in which I'm holding it. Um, I spent 45 minutes on the phone today with Apple who informed me that it would cost me $29 to get a replacement phone out and they were not sure whether a replacement phone would be any better. Um, finally got uh, spoke with the supervisor at Apple and um, he admitted that they have no idea what this problem is. Um, they know that there is a problem that exists, they're not sure what it is. I, I just read a report from a consumer report saying that stick with the, three, the 3GS. I later spent another hour on the phone with AT&T. They couldn't figure out how to go about returning the phone um, and uh, because it was purchased through Apple and, and then the SIM card needs to be sent out. Uh, suffice it to say, you know, it's a complete nightmare and I really am going to use this as an opportunity to, to revisit going back to Verizon. Um, I think Apple has uh, uh, handled this horribly. I think that they should have come out and been more honest and not blamed consumers for the way in which they're holding their phones. And um, you know, whereas before I would have been perfectly happy to stay with my 3GS for, for some time, um, you know, having gone through this experience, it's left me with a very bad taste in my mouth. Um, I, I, I will also say, that you know the 4.0 operating system is a, an extreme improvement over the prior one. I, I, although I don't believe it's real multitasking. Um, you know, when I send a tweet that uh, has to upload something, it doesn't continue uploading in the background. It's sort of just a fast application switching manner. Um, but I, I also feel that you know that sort of software upgrade should have been provided much sooner. You know. Um, as well and still has some bugs um, you know Apple you know you, you've got a great customer loyalty but I would you know um, suggest that you, you don't rest on your laurels and, and you expect that your customers to you know to, to expect great things of you I, I, I believe here at my company our customers expect great things of us I, in the meantime I would encourage anyone who's thinking about the iPhone 4.0 to, to rethink it and not do it. Take care.